Hey everyone, welcome back. I am Jadius, and this is Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV. We've just hit level 16, and we're going to cover the Hall of Novice. Uh, when you get to level 15, you can talk to the smith located in any of the major cities and outside of uh, the first dungeon. And the smith is part of the novice network, and he's here to kind of give new players a tutorial on how to do some basic combat stuff. When you come up to, we're in the Drowning Wench right now, when you come up to the smith and you talk to him, he'll tell you a little bit about uh, what the smiths are, and then you'll unlock the Hall of Novice Duty Finder, and then this will pop up. And it's training exercises, and there's, I believe, eight of them. And every time you do one, you get a piece of gear. And when you're done, you'll have a full set of armor and a ring that gives a huge XP bonus to your character, uh, which we're going to go ahead and do. So, start of the first one, avoid area of effect attacks. Now, when you enter... You're going to be in an arena type uh, area and there's going to be an NPC standing here. He's going to kind of tell you a little bit about what you're supposed to be doing. So. so it takes about 30 seconds to go through. You know, for this exercise, you'll be learning avoidance. Um, you know, so just uh, don't stand on the orange stuff, basically. Alright, so he's done his spiel. We'll talk to him real quick. Begin the training exercise. Alright, let's see what these guys got. Watch your opponent carefully. Okay, so that's what he's talking about. It's all about just not standing in orange stuff. And for this exercise, this enemy will throw some orange stuff at us. And then the other enemy will throw some orange stuff at us. And we just got to keep dodging it. Now, one of the important things um, when you are getting out of uh, ground effect AoEs. Uh, and you'll see a lot of new players specifically do this. But what they'll do is um, they'll run out and they'll keep running far away from it. And what that does is it just it, it destroys your uptime or your um, you know your active participation in combat. And when you're running around like that, you can't cast spells, you can't do melee attacks. And, uh, you know, efficiency just drops off of the, off a lot. So it's, it's much better to just, you know, move just outside of the AoE and then keep pressing your abilities. So we've completed this one because we didn't get hit with anything. And he takes us out. We talk to him again. And he gives us a pair of brand new gauntlets. Now these are a huge upgrade. 21 defense. And 21 magic defense. And stats. Very big upgrade. And they look cool. So we'll go ahead and recommended gear. Brand new gauntlets. Update our gear set. And we'll go ahead and queue up for the next one. So, exercise number two. Alright, execute a combo to increase enmity. Now, these ones are specifically for tanks. Some of them are, are going to be the same on all the jobs, whether you're a healer or a DPS or a tank. Um, and then some of them are very specific to the job that you're playing when you do this. You know, you're not going to get a healing tutorial as a tank or a DPS. Uh, just like you're not going to get, uh, you know, a, a threat tutorial as uh, as a healer. All 
All right, so he's just kind of, you know, telling you, like, soaking up the pain and keeping your mate safe. That's what you need to focus on most during battle. Um, you know, it's the tank's job to make sure everybody is mad at him so that your healers aren't getting punched in the face and your DPS aren't getting uh, made to take some dirt naps. So he's reminding us right here, make sure to bolster yourself with Defiance before we go in. Now Defiance is the warrior specific tanking ability. And what it does is it significantly increases the enmity generation. So you just pop that and now you are in your tank stance. It doesn't affect your damage. It doesn't affect how much damage you receive. All it does is give you threat. Uh, it's important when you're in an eight-man group later on where you might have two tanks and one tank is the main tank and the other tank is the off tank. The off tank doesn't always want to keep his enmity generation on so that he doesn't accidentally pull threat off of the main tank, turn the raid boss around so the raid boss, you know, cleaves everybody in front of him and wipes your raid. All right, so hit the warrior with your combination heavy swing and maim. So that's just one and two. All right, so that's all we got to do. And now if you mess this up, you can actually fail this. So all we do is just hit one and two. And this is just to basically get your, your fingers used to doing your enmity generation combo. And that's it. Very quick, very quick uh, tutorial. Teaches you your enemy gen en enmity generation combo. You know, if it was a DPS, it would you know do your DPS combo. Um, okay, so this was just an XP and a guild reward, but that was a lot of XP. Three thousand three hundred and sixty experience points. All right, so we'll talk to the smith again, and we will queue up for exercise number three. Execute a combo in battle. So now we get to practice a skill that we just learned. All right, so now we're going to be testing our combination on a proper opponent. Anyone can sit there and beat up a dummy. Now let's try it on the real thing. So we'll make sure we turn on our enmity stance. And let's go, Master of Shields. All right, so this is our friend, because we're both red. And this is our enemy. Pull him away. Come on over here, mister. And duty complete. Very simple. And we just got some boots. Really nice. Big upgrade. And and the great thing about this, uh, the brand new gear that you get from the Smith, it's uh, stat equivalent to the uh, first three dungeons. So this gear will get you into your 20s and possibly even to level 30. So it's very good gear to have. All right, exercise number four. 
accrue enmity from multiple targets. So now they're going to amp things up a little bit, and they're going to start throwing some uh, extra NPCs in there for us to go ahead and practice the skills that we were just practicing, first on the dummy, then on one opponent, and now we're going to do it on multiple opponents. All right, so now he wants us to use the Overpower ability. Overpower is a frontal cone attack. It has a potency of 130, and it hits every enemy in front of you um, within 8 yards. And at higher level, you actually get a second ability that will combo off of that, where you take your axe and you whirl it over your head. Um, really cool. So first we're going to do this on some dummies, and we have to make sure that we hit all three of our dummies with our overpower attack. Alright, so there's one. And now they're going to change the shape of the dummies, just to make sure that we know how to kind of maneuver around in battle. So we've got two over here, one here, and we'll just go ahead and hit them with overpower huge range on that. Same thing. Gotta make sure we hit them all with one overpower attack. And here we go. Nice wide. Bam. And that's it. You know, and it tells you, like, you know, if your enemies are in these positions, you need to stand in this location in order to hit everything. Another 3,300 XP. Very nice. Alright, now exercise number 5. Like I said, I think there's a total of 8. Um, and the last one is everything that we've learned on all of these. And you get to do them all at once. Dodging, picking up multiple targets, things like that. Protecting people in your party. So now, instead of dummies, we're going to fight, you know, active uh, NPCs. do is keep the threat. Let's begin the training. Alright, so he tells you right off the bat, adjust your position so you hit them all with overpower. And then all we got to do is just keep the aggro. Go ahead and pop a uh, defensive, because they are hitting a little hard. And you could just sit here and spam this all day long. At this level, this is really all you got to do to do any kind of tanking. When you, uh, when you get higher level, you're going to unlock more abilities, you know, and depending on what tank class you are, you know, uh, Warrior, Paladin, Gunbreaker, Dark Knight, you know, you all have different abilities that'll help you um, self-sustain on a fight, but that's all, you know, higher level gameplay. This is just, just the very basics. All right, now we got some pants. Another huge upgrade. Look at that. I won't be needing quest rewards for like 10 levels. So we'll go ahead and equip that. Oh, 
Oh, so it says the following class quest must first be completed. Brutal Strength. So, let's go do Brutal Strength. Alright, we just finished our level 15 uh, Marauder Job Quest. So that we can continue with the Smith Novice Training Quests. All right, exercise number six. Execute a ranged attack to increase enmity. Now, the reason that we had to do the job quest was because the level 15 job quest awarded us with a new skill called Tomahawk. And it's a ranged attack for the 15-yard range. It does 140 potency worth of damage and has increased enmity. So he's just saying sometimes enemies will join the fight and they'll be out of melee range and that's when you have your uh, tomahawk to be hitting enemies from a distance or sometimes there'll be a group of them and you don't want to just run in there. You want to pull them one at a time. Again, that's where your tomahawk comes in. And all the tanks get some sort of <clears throat> ranged attack. Uh, Paladin gets a shield throw. Um... Dark Knight gets, uh, you know, so, uh, a spell that they throw. Pretty sure Gunbreaker just, like, shoots them. So, essentially what he's saying here is you can't run in there. If you do, you're going to die. But you can pull them in small packs by using your ranged attacks. That's what we're going to do. We'll go ahead and start with the uh, automatons here. And just hit them with an overpower. Got to make sure they don't uh, attack our guild conjurer. to die, I'll just go ahead and pull the next ones. but not least, the Dodos. Next one, exercise number seven, engage enemy reinforcements. All 
All right, so basically, uh, we're going to be in a battle with an enemy. Uh, you know, while we're going to be engaged, and then additional enemies are going to join the fight, um, and we'll just have to use our tools. You know, throw a tomahawk at them or whatever ranged attack you're you have, just to get them off of uh, your teammates, and then beat them down. So he wants us to prioritize the reinforcements over the axeman. So we'll go ahead and zoom out just so we can see what's going on. And better make sure we get out of that. Alright, here's our first reinforcement. Hit him with an axe. Field. No matter what, he's always going to run over here and punch my healer. Just one quick jab. That's what you get for being a healer. But, duty complete. That was very easy. And there we go, brand new chest piece. We're about to look like a fancy lad. Let's go ahead and throw that on there. Look at us. Look at us being a fancy lad. All right. Exercise 8. The final exercise. This is where we tie everything together. Would have been nice if they would have given us a uh, given us a matching hat, but we could always hide the headgear. All right, so let's go ahead and get this started. So this is just everything that we've learned and practiced so far. We get to put into, uh, we get to execute, put into practice. Deep foe away from the healer. Turn on tank stance. Okay, first ad. Take them down slowly. Uh, 
Now you'll notice when there's multiple enemies on the field, you'll see uh, an enemy list over here underneath your your party list. And here you can see if it's red, you know I have the enmity on the on all three of them, and those colors will change as the people in your group get closer to taking that enmity away from you. Uh, you can also select enemies from here as well. So if an enemy gets away from you or somebody takes threat who's, you know, far away, you can quickly click on that enemy and then hit your uh, provoke button to get them back on you. Alright. A goo boo. These are my favorite enemies in the game. Big ol' spaghetti arms. And there's a neat trick about the ground effect thing. Um, as soon as the ground effect goes away, you can move back in even if the animation hasn't finished. Um, it allows you to keep enemies, you know, facing specific directions that you want them to face. Um, or, you know, if you're like a melee DPS and you have to get out of a large ground AOE like this one, it allows you to get back into the fight quicker instead of having to wait for the animation to go off. And there's a lot of fights uh, at higher level where, you know, utilizing that or this technique will actually let you, um, you know, just stay in battle longer or, or give you more efficient uptime. Uh, it even allows you to avoid other mechanics by moving into an area where there was just a ground effect or another mechanic that went off. Alright, so here's our brand new ring. And it gives us uh, increases XP by 30% when level 30 or below. Of course I'm going to take that. What a great upgrade. So that is the novice training in a nutshell. Just go ahead and equip this ring. Update our gear set. And there we go. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you found the information in this video enlightening. And as always, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share your favorite videos. We'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play.